guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and it's going to be on a classic Christmas makeup look. I have not done a makeup tutorial, like an actual makeup tutorial in a while here on my channel because I've been really trying to focus on finishing up the makeup for beginner series. I do have one more installment for that series. Um, I don't know when I'm going to film that but I wanted to get a Christmas makeup look for you guys here on my channel because tomorrow, today is Sunday, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of what you can do with a simple but glam classic makeup look. I don't know if I did anything similar to this on my channel, but I tried to amp it up a bit, a bit um, but this is just one of those classic looks that I would probably wear tomorrow for Christmas Eve. If you guys don't know I'm Catholic, so I do attend Christmas Eve Mass. I do like to dress up a little bit and do a little glam makeup for that evening, so for tomorrow, for tomorrow evening. Anyway, if you guys would love to see what kind of look I come up for this classic Christmas makeup look, then be sure to subscribe to my channel down below and also hit that notification bell so you guys can stay posted whenever I upload a new video on my channel. If you guys would love to see what kind of look I come up for Christmas Eve with a little classic makeup look for Christmas, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I did my eyebrows off camera for you guys. Um, I'm actually gonna start with the eyes first. Normally I've been doing the face first and then the eyes, but I'm gonna be using some palettes that I don't remember if there's any fallout. So I do wanna prevent any fallout from ruining the... So I'm gonna start off with the eyes and I'm first gonna prime my eyes using the Tarte Shape Tape. This is my classic go-to. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with a damp beauty sponge. And then I'm gonna step that with the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. You guys know how much I love this powder. I cannot stray away from it. I haven't found anything that's as good as this one in terms of affordability, but this is such a great powder. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put tape on my eyes. Um, like right here, just to create like a sharp line, clips line for my eyeshadow look. I'm just gonna put this in the back of my hand so the the stickiness is not too intense. Okay, hopefully that is even. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my eyes, like I said, and I'm gonna start off with the crease shade. I'm gonna go into the classic Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm gonna take that on a crease brush. Uh, see what I wanna use. I'm gonna take this on a crease brush and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this warm brown shade right here. This is salted caramel and I'm just gonna blend that all over my crease shade on my crease area. I have not used this palette in so long and it is such a great eyeshadow palette. Very very classic too. So I'm starting from the outer corner and I'm bringing that all the way to the inner corner and I'm blending that in windshield wipe motion and then buffing it out in circular motion. And I'm also going to wing it out, bring that towards the tail of my brow just to create that wing or that sharp edge. And it's okay if you go over the tape because when we take the tape out, it'll um, reveal that sharp line. I'm just going to build up this crease shade. Okay, so now I'm trying to think what I want to do now. I'm going to take this um, warmer brown shade right here. It's a little bit darker than the next shade that we're going to use. But this is semi-sweet. And I'm going to take that on the outer corner. I'm going to take that on a shader brush like this one. And a dome shape so it'll be good to get in that crease shade. And I'm just going to create a V shape. I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner and I'm just gonna slowly bring that up to the crease area but I'm not gonna go over it. And I'm just building this up until I get the intensity that I want. I'm gonna take the same crease brush that we used in the beginning and I'm just gonna blend that out. And I'm going to go over that outer V shade with a darker shade of brown. This is more of a mocha, rich mocha brown. And this is the shade Typho Fudge. So this is one right here. Really, really beautiful. 
beautiful shade of dark mocha. Really love it. So I'm going to take down a different brush and I'm just going to again dab that right on top of that brown. Just to intensify that. take a different brush just to intensify even more it's another dome shape shader brush and I'm just gonna dab that right again right here just to darken it up a little bit more because I do want the outer view to be, to be super smoky and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out again now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the lid and just to create like a cut crease kind of look. And I'm just going to go back to my tart shape tape and I'm going to put a little bit in the back of my hand. And I'm going to take the painter brush thing from Alamar Cosmetics. This is from the Ojitos, the Ojitos brush trio and I'm just going to dabble that right there. And I'm just going to cut the crease. I'm my mirror is over here so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the crease just to clean that up. And I'm going to do one eye at a time. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. And then for the lid, I'm going to be taking a an eyeshadow palette that I've never really used on camera, but I've used off camera already. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. And they have this really, really beautiful, intense gold shimmer right here. It's more of like a fresh shimmer. So I'm first going to take that on a flat shader brush from Ulta, like so. I'm going to dip that into the eyeshadow. And by the way, that shade is called Pyramid. This is the shade right here. I don't remember if I showed it to you guys. I'm going to take this shade right here. It's so beautiful, gorgeous. And I'm going to take that on a flat shader brush first. And I'm going to spray some setting spray onto the brush just to intensify that. And then I'm going to go and put this all over my lid. I've never used this shade before, so I'm gonna see how which one would work better with a brush or with your fingers. I'm gonna try it with a brush first. So I'm going to go ahead and try it with my finger to see how intense that is. Okay, so it's a little bit more intense when I dabble that with my fingers. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And then I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm going to move on ahead to the next eye. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the other I'm just going to take again. Take that again on a the same flat shader brush that I use if I can find it. I have so many brushes in front of me guys. Okay, so I'm gonna take it on the same shader brush. I'm gonna dip that back in the shade pyramid, tap off the excess, and then I'm gonna split that my brush <clears throat> with my MAC or with the Urban Decay setting spray. You can use anything that you like. Set a MAC Fix Plus, Urban Decay, or even water, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and dabble that back on to my lid and then I'm gonna go back and dab a little bit using my fingers just to make it all equal. The shade is gorgeous. Alright so now I'm gonna go back go back to the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I'm gonna go back to trifle Fudge, and I'm gonna intensify again that outer corner, and I'm also gonna blend out those edges just so it doesn't look so harsh. I'm gonna dip my crease brush back in the salted caramel shade. I'm just gonna blend everything out with this shade. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some wing line. I'm just going to put a typical wing line. I'm using the Wet n Wild Skinny Eyeliner Pencil. And it just looks like so. It had like a belt tip to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my wing. 
Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take off this tape. Okay, so now that the eyes are almost done, I'm going to go back to the eyes in just a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the face. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face using the Dr. Brand for No More Luminizer Primer, Luminizing Primer, Luminizer Primer. And I'm just going to use this to prime my face. I haven't used this in so long. Now normally I would apply this where I want to highlight along my face but I want a more luminous look today or for this look so I'm just going to dab this all over my face. For foundation today I'm using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I am in the shade Buff Beige. I absolutely love this foundation. This is my foundation in the winter because it's a little lighter but I really love this because it has such a great coverage and it also says that it has a an SPF of 20 so this is a really really good foundation great coverage um the one thing I would say about this foundation is I really love applying this with a brush so first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dot this all over my face this foundation does have a little bit of a chemical done to it but it's not overpowering and it's not going to linger throughout the day. And then for my brush I'm using the It Cosmetics Love It Foundation brush. I really love this foundation brush because it just gives you a great coverage and it's so soft. I didn't get the one from this year. Um, they only have this during October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month but this was last year's brush. So I'm just going to count this onto my skin and then I'm just going to dab this. I mean uh, buff this all over my skin on my face. Take the remainder of this foundation. Okay, for concealer today, I'm going to be going back to the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm in the shade Light Medium. And then I'm just going to go back to my damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to dab that or blend that out. So, do you guys have a special Christmas tradition that you have with your family or your friends? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. I usually attend Christmas Eve Mass with my husband and kids. And then we also attend, um, we also meet up with my mother-in-law and um, John's cousin. Um, I don't know if they're going tomorrow because I think his cousin has work. I'm not quite sure. And then after that... I think this year we're going to be going to his aunt's house, my mother-in-law's my mother-in-law's cousin's house, and we're going to have Christmas Eve dinner there. Unfortunately, John is not going to be going with us to the dinner because he actually has Walmart tonight. If you guys don't follow me, I do Vlogmas. Um, I've been doing Vlogmas since day one, so if you guys love lifestyle videos and all that and love watching Vlogmas, I will have my link to my vlog channel down below. I always have it linked down below. But I have been doing Vlogmas and I have been keeping you guys up to date with what's going on in my life and all that good stuff. John has Walmart tonight, so, and then tomorrow he has Dollar General. So from Walmart he's going to go straight to Dollar General. And then from Dollar General he's going to be coming home and getting ready to go to Mass. So he won't, be really, he won't really be able to sleep until after the Mass. So after the Mass tomorrow, I'm finally going to drop him off. And then we're going to go to my mother-in-law's cousin's house so John can sleep and all that good stuff. I'm going to set my face with the Clinique Blended Face Powder in Invisible Blend and I think I'm going to dab this. I think I'm going to grab a powder brush but I'm just going to use my damn beauty sponge and I'm just going to pat that all over my face. Let's do set this foundation. So today is Sunday and the kids went to church. I couldn't go because John had work. And um, if you guys don't follow me on my vlog channel, um, we do now live in an upstairs, so I can only go out if John is home because I am on a, in a wheelchair, so um, I, he's the only one who can carry the wheelchair down the stairs, so I am home. The kids went to church, I finally picked, up, picked them up around 9.30, and um, it just means Stella, but Stella went back to bed because she had a rough night last night, and I forgot to set my under eye. But she had a rough night last night, so she went back to bed as soon as um, Elizabeth and William went to church. 
So I just decided to not go back to bed and film because I meant to film yesterday and I didn't because John got home early and he was ready to crash. Um, I'm going to go back to the HD finishing powder from NYX and I'm just going to set that underneath my eyes before it creases. I'm also just going to take whatever is left and pack that all over wherever I like concealer. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set my face before I continue on with the eyes and the rest of the face. I'm also going to show you guys what lashes I'm going to be using so I can um, apply the lash glue and it'll dry. It'll, you know, have time to dry while I'm doing my face, while I'm doing the rest of my face. And I'm using the Kiss Blowout Lash in the shade Chignon. So this is the style. Really, really beautiful and wispy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply lash glue to these lashes. And, oh, I don't think I've used it yet. It's a and I will be right back. Okay, so while the lash glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. So I keep looking at my phone, but my daughter is trying to text me. I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm taking the next three steps to con uh, three steps to sculpt. I haven't used this in a while. Um, and I'm just going to take the contouring shade right here. Um, I usually never really contour unless it's a special event. So today's a special event or Christmas Eve really or Christmas or whatever you guys want to use this for. And I'm just going to take that on a contour brush from Luxy and I'm just going to contour at my cheekbone. I'm also going to contour along my hairlines. It's looking a little harsh, but we're going to blend that out. I'm going to go back to the Clinique Face Powder, and I'm just going to bake down there for a little bit under the cheekbones. Okay, so while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the face, and I'm going to be using the Hot Avenue Princess from Tarte. And I'm going to take that on a nice fluffy blush brush from Royal and Lanko, Royal and Langnickel. I'm also going to take that along my hairlines as well. And down my cheek, um, down my jawline. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. I'm also going to take away that baking. And then for blush today, I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Feisty. It looks like so. And I'm going to take that on an angled blush brush from Morphe. I really love these blushes. It stays on all day. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out again. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch my face again with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And just to set the rest of those powders. Okay, so while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and while the face is done, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my eyes and apply these lashes. I'm going to go ahead and apply this eyeliner pencil from Vintage Cosmetics. This is the Vintage by Jessica Leap Skin Smoky Eye Pencil in the shade Jet Black. I got this in a box charm a while ago and I really, really love this. It's a pencil eyeliner but it's super, super soft and it's not harsh or anything at all. Okay, I'm going to smoke that out. I'm going to go back to the chocolate bar palette and I'm going to take that mocha shade. Yeah, I'm going to take that mocha shade right here and I'm just going to stamp that along the lash line just to um, smoke that out and buff it out. And then I'm going to go back to salted caramel and I'm just gonna buff that out with a pencil brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and 
apply mascara on my upper and lower lashes. And actually, I'm going to call my lashes first. For mascara, today I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Really, really love this mascara because it just gives you such great, great volume and length. So I'm going to apply this on my upper and lower lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply these lashes because the lash glue should be dry already and I will be right back. Okay guys, so the lashes are done. I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this makeup look. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my cheekbones and anywhere else I need to highlight. I'm going to be taking the Ofa Cosmetic Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This is just a beautiful, beautiful champagne gold shade right here. And I'm just going to highlight the high points of my cheeks. I'm also going to highlight above my brows. And then the bridge of my nose tip of my nose and also my cupid bow and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone and my inner corners highlight my, in my brow bone I'm also going to highlight the, the um, inner corner Intense highlight, you guys. Alright, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face, and then we'll just apply the lip color, and then we will be done. Okay, for my lip today, I'm gonna be going with a classic red, and I'm gonna be using the Palladio Velvet Matte Lip Cream in the shade Pane. I absolutely love this shade, so I have to make sure it's the right shade. But I absolutely love this lipstick and I love this formula. It is such an amazing, amazing formula. I really love it. And it does have a nice dope flip applicator. So if you guys don't want to line your lips, you can just go ahead and not do so. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely loved how this makeup look turned out i think it's so gorgeous i really love the the way how classic this makeup look looks and it's just perfect for christmas eve and all of that good stuff anyway i hope you guys have an amazing christmas and i hope you guys have an amazing time spending time with your family remember that christmas is not just about the gifts it's also about spending time with your family your friends and your loved ones and most importantly it is about the time of celebrating jesus's birth so it is an amazing amazing time and yeah i can't wait to spend christmas with my kids and my family and just celebrate the birth of jesus i hope you guys again have an amazing christmas and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye guys